Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Once again, we're bringing you some more awesome updates, not only to give you more control, but to make your life that little bit easier. So what can you do with Famisafe's calls and messages? Well, Famisafe now collects messages and call logs from a child's device and displays them on a timeline for the parents. It monitors messages for inappropriate content and notifies parents accordingly. On Android, it also supports setting up a blacklist to prevent the child from contacting specific phone numbers. So let's have a look how to actually use it. Step 1. Launch Famisafe. Tap Features. And then tap Calls and Messages. Step 2. Due to Google Play's policy requirements, we are unable to directly request call and message permissions for your child's device. Therefore, we have actually prepared an app that works in conjunction with Famisafe Kids. It's called Famisafe Kids Plus, which is specifically designed to manage the relevant permissions and data. So follow the instructions, visit connect.famisafe.com and download the product package to your child's device. Step three. Just like the previous kids app, you will need to grant Famisafe Kids Plus certain access permissions to ensure its smooth operation. Things like device administrator permission, call log permission, phone permission, and SMS permission. Famisafe Kids Plus has a distinctive feature. The app's logo and entry are hidden by default on the kid's device home screen. So as far as the child is concerned, nothing has changed. The app is as before. If you need to open this app, you can invoke it through the button on the page where it was originally downloaded. In other cases, if you wish to open Famisafe Kids Plus, you can visit Famisafe Kids, tap the setting button at the top right corner, select auxiliary tool and verify your identity using your own account password or the PIN code to unlock the parent's app. Once authenticated, you will be able to see the button to open Famisafe Kids Plus. Step 4. After ensuring that the settings on your child's device are complete, you can return to the Famisafe app on your phone to proceed with operations. You can view your child's calls and message logs over here and block specific numbers as needed. Please note that emergency numbers in various countries and regions like 911 in the US will never be blocked under any circumstances. For children, if they attempt to communicate with a number that has been blocked, Famisafe Kids Plus will generate an overlay page to prevent the child from answering the call. So how do we use it on iOS? Step 1. Launch Famisafe, then tap Features, and then tap Calls and Messages. Step 2. To back up your child's message data, you'll need their phone, a data cable, and Famisafe Connect with the device already upgraded to control mode via the app. Step 3. Open Famisafe Connect on your computer, select Calls and Messages for iOS, enter the four-digit code for the parent app, and if prompted about the MDM certificate, click Upgrade Control Mode to complete the process. Step 4. Unlock the child's device with a password. Follow the Famisafe Connect instructions and be patient as the initial backup may take longer. Step 5. Once the initial backup is complete, data will automatically sync every hour if your child's device and the computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. And you can also manually sync them using Famisafe Connect if needed, provided both devices remain on the same network. For this feature to work, Famisafe Connect must be used and the device to be monitored should be already upgraded to control mode via Famisafe Connect. After completing the settings, you can use the Famisafe app on your mobile device to monitor your child's text messages and call logs in real time as you go about your daily activities. All right, then that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to operate our new feature and this upgrade of the Famisafe app. If you have any questions or you would like to reach us, you can do it directly through the comment section or through our website. All of the links are also going to be in the description to this video as well. Other than that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press the bell button, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.